known Tim for a long time, and back in the day in high school going to Reno High, we used to hang out and do run a this fantastic shop, tons of paraphernalia. I didn't know the first thing about bike racing when I was living here in Reno as a swimmer, uh, but it's been great coming back to town after having found cycling because it's a fantastic area for riding. My team actually came up and did a training camp in April. We rode a Geiger Mount Rose. And we're underway. As for the first time ever, the ladies get a chance to hit out. The team in white and blue, the squad of Amber Reyes, is called Tibco. They're based out of the Bay Area. And you're going to see a lot of riders, including Pro Man, based out of Northern California, which right now is developing the top talent in the country. It's really coming out of that area. There's a rider out of Vermont, Amy Dombrowski, of the Webcore team, one of America's only UCI registered team, and certainly one of the most powerful teams in the world, Bev Harper, also on the Webcore squad. So we'll watch Dombrowski and Harper try to work in tandem here today. This, one of the strongest squads in the country is the Cheerwine team, based out of the Southeast, but these are Two of the riders in our field are actually from Northern California as well, Sarah Bamberger as well as Stacy Marple. I would look for them to be very active here. This is a great shot, giving you a feel for how skilled these ladies are as they're making their way back up onto the tough climb, trying to carry as much momentum as you can. You can see riders really weren't scrubbing any speed at all as they came through that tricky chicane as the ladies have definitely been hotting things up. It looks like we're seeing another stimuli of action there. It's losing a rider right off the side of the road that's tough and that is going to be Stacy Marple there so it looks like Marple able to get things sorted out quickly and it, oh boy you can see the damage that she's done Bev Harper has made this selection who else is up there as I would expect to see Bamberger will be very motivated here today as well we're taking a look at Amber Reyes Amber had a breakthrough win earlier this year as she took a stage at the tour of the Gila that's quite the impressive ride for the young lady from Reno you heard her talk about her swimming background it's really quite common in the elite level of women's pro cycling to see riders coming over from another sport especially Sports like the endurance, uh, running or triathlon or swimming, is certainly they have the engine. It's just a matter of developing the skills to become a pro bike racer. And these are three ladies that have certainly done that. Sarah Bamberger in the red, the Cheerwine rider. And it looks like when she went to the back of the group, she spent a little bit of extra time trying to get a feel for where the other ladies in the breakaway are at. Once again, that is Bettina Hold just finishing up her turn. And Amber Reyes, more than just taking over at the front, she's attacking this group. So attacking out of the breakaway, everyone knows that Amber Reyes will be very, very motivated for the huge prize list as well as the winning in front of friends and family. That's worth quite a bit. But okay, at this point, Ashley Fonts and Bev Harper both look like they've found their way up so boy the cream rising to the top but not quite jumping out of the cup yet and we're taking a look at Fonts there finishing up her pull this is a part of the course that Sarah Bamberger seems to really excel on here as Bamberger has opened up a gap and now with a look under her shoulder she can see that it's significant and she is able to escape the group in the final few hundred meters for a huge win Bamberger wins backing up her Nevada City Classic win just one week earlier. That's cool. Oh, thanks so much, Tim. This is awesome. Thank you so much. I fucking take years to do a women's race up here because this is, I mean, it's the perfect backdrop for a bike race, and he put together a fantastic course today. You know, it was awesome racing through the chicane and North Star here. There were tons of crowds, people cheering. It's fantastic. And our women's race. What a fantastic event this was. And Cheerwine, Sarah Bamberger was the outright winner. Amber Reyes put on a real show, taking the silver medal in second. And Stacy Marple of Cheerwine ends up in third. It was Bettina Hold of the Pro Man Paradigm team in fourth. And Ashley Fonts of Tibco ends up in fifth.